Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Nona from TheAllianceLover.com. I have another soft natural video for you today. We are looking at Britney Spears' style from the early 2000s. I don't believe that Britney is verified, but I do believe that she best suits the soft natural ID and I know that a lot of other people do as well. So if you are interested in Britney's early 2000s style or if you're a soft natural and need some tips, hopefully this video helps you. All right, so if you're not familiar with Britney's body, she has a lot of broadness as well as tapering in her frame. So she has broadness throughout her shoulders, her chest, and her rib cage, throughout her upper thighs and hips. And she also has a good amount of tapering where her body becomes quite narrow in an angular sort of way throughout her waist, throughout the rest of her legs down from the upper thighs and even throughout her limbs she has very pronounced portions or segments of her limbs now on top of this frame she has a more toned or muscular but still soft physique so that further enhances this robust athletic quality to her actual silhouette so in terms of clothing, what Brittany really shines in is a mixture of form-fitting clothes that really accentuate the twists and turns of her body in very specific areas, as well as material or details that jump out with a little bit of bulk or volume or texture or movement to further enhance the inherent dynamism and sensuality in her frame as well. So not too simple, but nothing overly intricate or overly cluttered. All right, so one of the problems that a lot of soft naturals tend to have is that they feel like necklines either drag them down too far or necklines kind of blur the rest of their torso and overtake it and then somehow maybe the rib cage takes over the outfit maybe they aren't able to create any waist definition and one of the problems is choosing the wrong neckline shape so Brittany again she has this kind of v shape to her upper torso she shines in these wide deep necklines that really enhance that V shape. But when she wears something deep and more narrow, it kind of superimposes this shape on her body that isn't actually there. And in this case, with this tank top and this round narrow neckline, it's making her look straighter throughout the shoulders and waist. And it's low, so it's creating a lot of distance between her face and her chest and her waist. So what happens is her chest and rib cage kind of take over and her waist has no broadness as a contrasting reference point. So then she looks a little bit more straight. So as a soft natural with this kind of configuration up top, try to go for outfits that really reinforce your shoulders and also the tapering towards your waist. Even if the angle isn't super dramatic, you could still really benefit from trying to honor that V shape rather than trying to constrain yourself with something a bit more vertically inclined. All right, another important aspect to clothing is the material and the way it flows and sits on your body. Brittany looks great in more draped and fluid clothing that has some movement to it that isn't too stiff and rigid because it allows her to really convey that feeling of freshness and action and momentum that a lot of soft naturals have. So here we have this lovely crossover halter top, drapey, especially with the tie waist that dangles off the side of her body, further adding 
a little bit of movement. Here we have this gorgeous draped super low plunging neckline. Again, adding that sense of momentum. And then here we have this like corset like more rigid item. She looks cute in it, but it doesn't have that same vibe or feel to it. And I think she looks a little bit too restrained in something so calculated already. She just needs a little bit more fabric and room to breathe. So here are just some more examples of looking at more fluid materials and more draped fluid fits compared to something much more calculated and rigid and tailored. It's really hard to judge looks sometimes when you're looking at someone who's, you know, just naturally very attractive and very charismatic, who has so much charm. But if you just try to be a little bit more objective and ask, is this outfit enhancing her body or is she just able to pull it off regardless? With these two outfits on the left, I think the flow of the items and the material are really enhancing her natural energy and her silhouette. And here she just looks lovely in this dress, but I don't think it is adding to her vibe or accentuating that kind of fresh and sensual movement that she has so much of. All right, another important point for many soft naturals, especially if your essence is also more on the natural side, is to keep it a little bit more simple and less cluttered. Having these cleaner, broader sweeps of fabric will help bring out the beauty of your body and wearing things that have a little too much detail and ornamentation will detract and will overwhelm the body and then your beauty won't be able to push through because there's just too much going on and it's too busy. Okay, so if you need an item um, that you can wear kind of like a uniform, I highly recommend looking into one shoulder tops or anything that has this beautiful sloping angle and that asymmetry to it because it's just the perfect piece. I think if Brittany just wore this shape all the time, she would look, I don't know, it's magical all the time because it just enhances everything about her body. So again, we have the asymmetry that adds the dynamism. We have this gorgeous deep angle that helps bring out the v-shape of her body we have this gorgeous broader span of fabric around the chest so that you are not focusing only on the chest area but you're seeing the whole shape of her upper body including her chest and then you're also seeing how small her waist is in comparison there's just so much momentum and movement to this piece and you can wear it as a dress, as a crop top, as a longer top. You can even wear it as a cold shoulder, a long sleeve or a sweater dress. There's just so many possibilities. And lastly, if you need some more inspiration or you just want an excuse to watch Brittany over and over again, I highly recommend taking notes from Lucky, her music video, because her wardrobe is so accommodating. It's so flattering of her body. Um, and I especially love her hair here. I think it's gorgeous when she has that medium kind of layered hairstyle going on. But anyways, you'll see the beautiful, slinky, angular, deep kinds of necklines um, and the more slinky fabric that shows off her body and these more solid broad sweeps of fabric. Um, the high neck is also gorgeous on her and you know all the colors and material are just so vibrant. It's just a really beautiful and entertaining music video and her costuming is just super 
on points in it. So if you need more inspiration, that is just one video to look at. It's a good start. So I just wanted to keep that a little bit short and sweet for today or else I'd go on and on. There's so much to delve into when it comes to Queen Brittany's style. Um, but anyways, I'll see you in the next video. I hope you all have a nice holiday season or break if you are celebrating. And if not, have a good week anyways, and I'll see you in the next video.